few uh, updated sheets for the A fund. Um, I did make a bunch of corrections to mainly housekeeping corrections to the other funds, but um, the main stuff that we're talking about today is A fund items uh, to include planning board, uh, historian, and uh, general administrative to include um, elected officials, treasurer, uh, attorney, and uh, a couple other administrative type positions. So like purchasing and, and uh, the village clerk and, and so on. The only thing we're not discussing right now obviously is salaries. Um, we'll kind of pick that up after we get all the departments through. So that'll probably be what we'll pick up as our kind of our one meeting before finalization meeting that we'll do not next week but the week after, okay? Um, I plan on working on all our bond um, items uh, for next week, so we should have bond population uh, going on. The big thing I'm going to need from the board is a determination of how we're going to handle the reconstruction bond because that is due March of 2016, which is this the fiscal year. And if we don't pay that completely off, we will have to make that a serial bond and all the expenses related to that. And that's two hundred fifty thousand. It's approximately. I'll, I'll I'll have the exact number, but it's approximately two hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's still due on. Um, Web Lane Bridge, I believe, is uh, either ending this year or next year. Next year. Yeah. So Web Lane is pretty much done. That we're going to wrap that up. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, uh, not to say that Web Lane might not come up again based on some of the conditions of that bridge. Yeah, but this is the last year for the uh, residents. For the residents, yeah. What, was yeah. it 10 years they paid? For the... mm -hmm. yeah. If that bridge ever comes up again, Stella should be made aware of it because there were certain things that were supposed to be treated from a historic standpoint, mm -hmm. and it never was referred to Chapeau at all. So oh. No, oh, wow. it may be too late. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Well, you, if, it's, if it's that historic, you know it's not going away. <laughs> well... <laughs> but there won't be a land uh, bridge made there. But um, So that's that. Um, just quickly, I also want to point out, I mentioned to some, our bond offering yesterday yielded a 0.48% interest rate. Um, that's a tremendous result. Uh, that essentially puts about 22, mi minus the fees, about $18,000 back in the village treasury that would have went to interest rate expense. But because we had um, some very high uh, hitters look, looking and being interested in that debt, which was 1.5 million short-term debt, um, the 0.48 interest rate came in. Some of the bidders that uh, were there were Chase, Oppenheimer, um, uh, the TD Bank, and um, uh, Jeffries and Company, all major Wall Street type funding companies. So it's really good that we're having access to that type of uh, lending because it's saving the village a lot of money on interest rates. So I wanted to put that out. And um, <clears throat> so we'll get, get started with... Uh, uh, can we start with Yes, the we'll start with our guests here so that they don't have to wait and watch paint dry. <laughs> okay, so why don't we start with the planning board and uh, with Mr. Ramis to discuss with the board his uh, uh, submission. Good evening, board members. Um, I submitted uh, a budget that, again, is cut from last year's budget. So I hope you guys are happy with that. Last year it was proposed for twelve thousand one hundred and sixty. I believe. Correct that. Twelve thousand one hundred forty. One hundred forty. And uh, this year I was looking to get eleven thousand seven hundred and seventy-five. Okay, 11775. Any questions? Well, I have the one question, but you answered it. <laughs> okay. Your uh, escrow amounts, did you, uh, did you raise them this year? Was that what, I know that wasn't part of this, but. That's a village board issue. Okay, good. So you guys, didn't, remember we discussed that at one meeting, actually. I know. Um, we never did anything with it. I didn't know where it was. Uh, and I want to bring that up at hopefully Monday's meeting okay, with you guys. Okay, that's a um, time. Because we really, really need to 
at least get an escrow set for curb cuts. Okay. Because right now with the one curb cut that we did recently have before us, we had to eat that. But I have some extra money in the budget. Okay. And it's, yeah. it's not that much, but that's not the point. The applicant should be paying that. No. Well, and we'll address that Monday and all that. Uh, I just didn't know if this was, uh, I'm just thinking that's probably yeah, that's And the fees, we can keep the same. Right. You know, I don't, you know, the fees are fine uh, for the curb cut, because that actually, the lower fee brings the people in. Yeah. So at least they're getting a proper review. Well, uh, again, too, it, it, that every curb cut would need uh, money put into escrow? Escrow, that's what we're looking for. All, it, all curb cuts. Yeah, well, right now there's no account, there's no wording set up that right. they have to put money into an escrow account. Right. So that's what we need to do yeah. is uh, change the wording um, in the application and let them know that they need to put, I would suggest $500 um, into the escrow account. Spoke with the engineer and the attorney and a simple curve cut, a simple one that is. Should only take them an hour each, so they're still going to get money back out of the rest club. So, okay. yeah. I mean, it should work. But then you get into the more difficult ones. And that's it's, it's some more. No, I'm, I'm just thinking some of them have to be cut dry where you're just simple. Uh, yeah. It, Half you know, an hour you have for the engineer to look at it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, we'll go up and look at it. Right. But anyway, yeah, we need to discuss that okay. and some other things, but that we can bring that up at the other end. But as far as the budget, um, you know, I was able to shave some of the money off, especially since uh, um, I don't believe we need an alternate anymore. Okay. We have four good members, and we're still looking for one other one since we lost Fred. So I still want, you know, uh, we have a five board member, so we have to keep that number. <coughs> but as far as the alternate, I don't think we need that at this point in time. So I think we should take that out of the budget. So that was $400 there at the top of the shave off. Looks uh, reasonable to me. Yeah. Mr. Brown, did you have anything? No? No, you do It's what it is there. You just you want a tight budget there. So it's we try. We try. It's not only everybody else's tax dollars, it's mine too. No, I know. <laughs> so, my money. That's my money I'm stuck with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're good? Yeah. yeah thank you. Good. Thank right. you, Jim. Take care. Okay. Wish they were all so so good. I'll save you some cookies. Well, no. No. Enjoy them. Are you sure? Don't tell me that. I think I have probably one left or something. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay, uh, next we have uh, Stella Bailey, our village historian, to uh, village and town historian, to discuss. Madam Chair, I just wanted to verify what is going to take place with the historian's budget. Uh, I've heard a lot of supposition, but no one has asked to sit down and talk to me about any of it. I did have a conversation with the mayor who said, don't worry about it. Nothing's going to happen till 2016. Well, that's, that, that's now. That's this budget. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, but since the town and the village have fit different fiscal years, I just want to clear just what's going to take place. Okay, well, I was hoping that we could uh, get the I thought he was going to share, and share some of the expense with the town on this. Yeah, hasn't yeah. the, the uh, town put in like over 3800 for salary? Yeah, and I actually, I doing actually have the town budget. My current town salary is thirty two fifty. The budget was 1200 and they dropped it to 900 For the for expenses? Yes. I asked that that be reinstated, but they didn't. It's still 900 my salary here is fifteen eighty, and the budget is a thousand. It's been a thousand since nineteen ninety three. Now, am I to assume that my salary here of fifteen eighty is going to be picked up by the town? By the town. I thought that yeah. that's what he talked about. Yeah, the town was covering the salary. I, we I will take the personal facility. credit, right. Stella. When I was supervisor, I did give give the historian an increase. To, so yeah. that the town got, you know, because the that town... That was my first increase yeah, with the town yeah. in 17 years. Because <laughs> I remember discussing, we did increase Stella's yeah. uh, salary a little bit because it was stagnant. Nothing had happened with us for a long time. I'm pretty sure we talked about the, the town picking up the labor and uh, 
everything else was paid through on to our budget. Is it, right. That's how I remember it. Right. I don't remember that's, the numbers. That's kind of, what I've been told. Yeah. What, what I what I have from my discussion with the mayor and others who I guess had uh, comments on it. The idea was to have the town pick up the salary because the what's happening still is the A fund of the town pays your salary. I know. It's well, funny. the A fund, two thirds of it is paid by the village. Yes, so I essentially, see. villagers are paying twice for historian, and town people pay once. And so the idea was it should be all moved into the town A fund, and all the uh, uh, cost of it would be borne by all uh, residents, not just village residents. Mm -hmm. Um, the other idea was was to keep your con contractual at a thousand, so you, that would remain the same. So the the plan was to have the town pick up your salary, and your contractual um, for expenses related to your office and everything that you do as a historian would stay at the thousand dollars. Now there also was a discussion because of the various budgets being that the village is June and the town is um, January that because the town's budget, and I'm just trying to find, um, uh, your salary stayed the same, correct, uh, Stella, at, in the town? Yes. Okay, I'm just trying to find where it is. I forgot. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, <clears throat> you went, um, you're at 3250 So they didn't, they haven't picked it up yet. Yeah, they, they, they basically increased to $37. That's it. Um, so you went from uh, 3213 to 3250 right. and then they have $900 in expenses. Is that the same as what it was? Yeah. Okay. So the idea would have been for the town to pick up uh, 1580 which would put you just under $5,000, and the village would keep your contractual uh, at $1,000, and then... To, to bridge the gap between June and December, uh, the village was going to contribute um, half of that amount. So that would have been uh, $800 to your salary. So you would have had budgeted $800 for salary. Again, this is the discussion I had with the mayor. Now, this is obviously the it's board sound, discussion. Familiar, yeah. Yeah. But I'm just relaying what, what he had mentioned to me. And um, so for budget purposes for the village, your salary would be eight hundred, and your contractual would be a thousand, and that would be for the remainder of the six months um, until the uh, town picks up your salary in its entirety for the two thousand sixteen budget. Has the town agreed to that? I, I haven't had any discussions. It's no, my understanding. I've, I've been having discussions with them. That the 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 well, let's put it this way: <laughs> as a town resident. I would probably, if the town doesn't support it, I would probably go to a board meeting and voice my concern that the A fund should not be paying twice for villagers and once for town members. Well, what so I think it's so long to catch up to this. Well, you know, there, you know, part of it, there's a lot of, you know, yeah. the noise. There's yeah. a lot of noise, but, um, but I think it's a very reasonable and logical position, and I'd be very surprised if the town uh, uh, disagreed with that because it makes complete sense. Two-thirds pay twice, one-third pays once. Mm -hmm. And it's not a lot of money. You know, if we're, believe me, if all of our budget lines were like this, it'd be a dream. <laughs> well, so that's, that's my understanding, and I'm, I believe the board shares that that's what yes. they understand. That's, that's what I've heard. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Okay, that's what I wanted to verify. So it'd be business as usual as far as you're concerned, I see. Yes. For style yeah. now, so. Yeah, the, I, there would be the only thing would be to get uh, the town to commit publicly because I guess behind the scenes there have been discussions. But I know they, that's what I mean. Nobody maybe not said, publicly. Asked yeah. me about it, or you know. has the town asked you anything about no. it? No. Oh, okay, so. No, I question the nine hundred. Why did they drop it from twelve twelve hundred and? <clears throat> Nobody seems to want to. <laughs> yeah, that. Want to talk to me? I guess they're going to have to explain that yeah. one. <laughs> but I yeah. thought it, because I didn't know, I thought it was part of what was going on with the village. You know. No, I don't. Uh, again, I don't know anything more than uh, that. The village was originally the village was going to have zero for your salary, but then the the the, the statement came up that because of the split year that you would essentially then have a $800 decrease in your salary from June. 
And so the mayor, I know, had mentioned that, no, he didn't want there to be a break, but he did want there to be a uh, consolidation. Mm -hmm. Now, the other important thing, and you know, maybe this is uh, a, a selling point, if we consolidate the historian from the village to the town, that does give some credit for the cap. Now, I don't know if it's enough credit, but it at least gives some credit that there's a consolidation of, um, of positions. So historian consolidates into the town, and that is in the spirit of what the uh, cap is asking for. Mm -hmm. um, so that argument can also be made, that, that there's a consolidation effort, and that's within the spirit of the tax cap. Well, I believe that Charlie put that uh, survey in the paper, and I did write back and say to consolidate the offices, but I hope that didn't mean to take away my salary. <laughs> yeah, well, nobody tries to give themselves a pay cut. Yeah. I, I get it. Um, yeah, I, 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 again, I, I think that that's, that's the spirit of it, and mm -hmm. if the town comes back and rejects that, then... We're back to Back to the numbers. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we'll also, as citizens, make sure we make our voices heard because, quite frankly, it's a very reasonable request. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I live in the town, so, so I'm getting a discount right now. So there's nothing set in stone right now. It's just well, what proposed. what what will be probably set in stone if the board decides this is your salary will be 800 for this fiscal year, and your um, contractual will remain at a thousand is what the uh, proposal looks like it's going to be for the tentative budget. Okay. And then if uh, uh, after the tentative budget there'll be a public hearing and if in the public hearing your position becomes the talk of the public hearing then we'll revisit it. Now I find that hard to believe but anything's possible. Believe me, I know. <laughs> and so my salary will be 800 from the 1580, Correct. and the town is going to pick up the 1580. And the, the town would pick up the 1580 next year. Next year. Yes, and then that would bring you to what you currently would be making, 3250 and 1580, mm -hmm. which may I think that's makes it 4900 mm dollars -hmm. would be your salary. Okay, well. But yeah. you would still occupy the office here in the village as long as the village is, is remains a village. Um, that space. Well, uh, as long as the space remains. Village space. space. Correct. Right. Correct. That's right. And, you know, nothing can't is going to happen. Can't wait to see how this all turns out. <laughs> well, it's not going to happen. It's a work in progress. No, no, <laughs> believe, yeah, believe me, as far as the village itself, the village itself is going to be an entity for quite a while. That doesn't, that doesn't yeah. happen that quickly. But individual I departments. five years. Yeah, yeah the probably the at minimum. least. Yeah, probably at least. Okay. And, you know, there are some examples of uh, villages that are paper villages. The village still exists has small, very small administration, and every, all the other main things are run by the town. Woodbury is a good example. Woodbury's village and Woodbury's town footprint are exactly the same. The coterminous village. And, and there's a reason that they did that, yeah. because Monroe wishes they did that right now. <laughs> um, Scarsdale, I think, did that too. Yeah. A couple. It just prevents other villages from being, if, if the whole village and the town are the same lot lines, or property lines, then you can't open up another village. Okay, thanks for giving me your time. Thanks, okay, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for your support okay. and service. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Take care, everybody. Okay. Have a good night. You too. I thought you guys would have a four years to get to the point where they are now. I'm sorry? You guys would have a straw. Took them four years. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So. One down the way, we were talking, I thought we were going to do it overnight. No, nothing happens overnight. Yeah. <laughs> the state would love that to happen, yeah. but that's not going to happen. Yeah, no. because it's got to go through a referendum, <clears throat> and you've got to have a plan to present before right. it goes on the ballot. Yeah, so there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot involved in that, absolutely. It makes more sense, I think, to go the route. It's got to be done, be yeah. done right. Yeah. And if you can do functional consolidation, like police, DPW, even right. historian and planning board, you know, eat away at it incrementally, then it, it's a lot That's easier to do yeah. the, the big dissolution or merger. 
Okay, so um, so now let's uh, proceed then on to uh, administration and the different administration areas. Now again, the two files that are right there, um, one's planning board, I believe, and the other should be village administration, yes. the Manila files. No, just for your your purposes, because there's um, Gina's papers are in there, uh, the treasurer's papers are in there, um, and there's some notes in there also. Uh, obviously, there's nothing. There's nothing for attorney, and there's nothing for. Um, uh, I don't recall if there was anything in there for purchasing. Did you have something for purchasing, Gina, in there for contractual? No. Okay, so that would just basically have to be, uh, you know, what the board wants to do. So, <clears throat> what we can first uh, let's cover the board of trustees. Um, right now, you have. Uh, trustees contractual for TV meetings, which we decided last meeting to put the zero and move that to celebrations. So that will, uh, I'm assuming, stay zero. Village contractual is $2,500. And right now, year to date for contractual for trustees is... Trustees contractual is uh, you've spent eight hundred out of the twenty five hundred, so you have seventeen hundred remaining out of that number. So <laughs> not spending much money. Now it's again, that's spending. for um, you know you have that for doing Nikon things, uh, any type of training, um, any type of uh, trustee sponsored events. Um, you know, like the mayor has his, with like with flag raising, if the if trustees mm -hmm. wanted to do something, some type of hosting or whatever, that's what that money's for. What you don't use, obviously, goes back to the fund balance. Um, I'm not recommending to cut it. Uh, I'm just, you know, probably should. You don't need to increase it based on no. your experience. But so. if you want, we probably leave it at 2,500. Trustees don't do that much anyway. Trust, trustees don't do much. <laughs> trustees do. Well, we don't. We don't I mean, spend, spend a lot of money. Oh, oh, spend much? No, no. How much, how much you say we spent that on so far? Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. Trustees are the biggest bargain in the village. Yeah. yeah. Between salary and uh, spending, uh, you guys are the cheapest yeah. payroll yeah. around. So, um, yes, yeah, so is a is a consensus to leave it at twenty five hundred? What is everybody else? Yeah. yeah, I would say so. I do okay. Talk. All right, so 2,500 will stay on the uh, on the contractual. And again, salaries we'll discuss uh, at a, a, a future meeting when we get all the other numbers in. Okay, mayor contractual. Uh, mayor is listed at $1,250, and the mayor so far um, spent a thousand, so he has 250 remaining. Now, what the mayor's been spending that money on is flag raisings, um, a couple sponsor a sponsorship items that he did related to village business. Um, personally, I told the mayor he probably should increase that a little bit and fund it through some of the donations that are being uh, given in for different different things. Uh, he did fund it with the um, uh, clothing box money, okay. um, and uh, and then obviously some some uh, revenue from, from taxes went into that. So um, my recommendation is to put him at about 2000 so that he's not robbing Peter to pay Paul to be able to take care of things. Um, but that's, uh, that's based on just what I've seen in, in his expenses. Um, with the clothing boxes, though, didn't that go into beautification? One of that, one of the checks went to beautification, and then I believe one of them went to Mayor Either, either mayor or what had happened was it was a mayoral function, but it was paid for out of celebrations. We had money in celebrations? Yeah, there was, a, I believe, a budget adjustment. It wasn't budgeted for, but there was a budget adjustment, I believe. Gina, is that, do you recall? It was either celebrations or um, the other category, uh, um, beautification. One of those categories received a budget adjustment up. Yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Well, I can actually, I can actually look that up. Um, I thought the mayor himself wanted to funnel that money into beautification from the boxes. Yeah. Yeah, but what was happening was was like all of the um, fall decorations and everything. Right. 
that was some of that was going to be charged to the mayor's expense and there was enough money to do it so that's why the budget adjustments went into beautification and celebrations um i can see what the i should be able to tell the budget adjustment here 7120 beautification uh yeah beautification was adjusted up fifty four hundred dollars and then celebrations. What do we have in beautification? Fifty-four hundred dollars. That's what we have now. That's what we're. we're that's what we. For. That's what we adjusted the budget to, and we have a balance of four thousand. And again, some of that were donations from, I believe, of the Eisenhower group. Um, I don't recall. I'd have to just hit on that code to see what else there was. But yeah, they've given a thousand each year for yes. the last two years. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the clothing box money went in there. Let me see if the mayor's thing was adjusted up. I don't think it was. Let me see. Yeah, mayor mayor's stayed at twelve fifty, so his was the original number. So what we can, if you want, you know, Mayor should get here shortly. We can yeah. just uh, defer to him on that. And see what he says. Okay, next treasurer. Um, <clears throat> basically, the treasurer's equipment uh, didn't put anything in there. Last year there was uh, equipment related to the laptop, and between myself and the uh, our um, payroll clerk and our uh, assistant treasurer or clerk. Uh, we bought uh, computers for all three positions to replace the XP models. Um, so there was nothing budgeted for equipment this year uh, for treasurer. The contractual is listed on the schedule that I put in the file there. And that pretty much breaks down to um, bond council, financial advisory support uh, for bond offerings and debt, debt offerings. And um, Gas, not Gas B forty five, um, Firth Cliff Tech Support five hundred, forty five hundred for KVS software license support, which is shared between myself and the clerk, and um, and water and sewer, and water and sewer also, and um, and I think that there's uh, some other uh, additional contingencies, which was around like a thousand dollars. So that remained the same as uh, the same as last year, uh, no change there. And then in the in the treasurer audit section, uh, that also remained at twenty seven five, broken down by GASB um, audit support from the village auditors, um, CPA support and guidance uh, from uh, Mr. Plum, and um, I think there's also like a uh, thousand in. Uh, O four incidentals that if they don't if they're not required will go back to the fund balance. Okay, so that's treasurer inputs. Um, any any thoughts on uh, on those numbers? Again, so basically audit stayed is, flat. The, is the same as last year. Yes, okay. um, they committed to several years. Uh, now, I did I did on the audit. Um, there was a little bit. I'm not sure if they completely knew what price they were putting in one one or the other, so I put in what they uh, actually had um, committed to us. The last invoice we got, I think, was a little less than what the original number was. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we got a local discount. I don't, I'm not sure, but I put in what was the agreed to amount based on my notes. So that 2100 uh, is, I believe, what. The original number was, but our last invoice I think was at twenty five hundred, which was five hundred less for Nugent and Housley. Right. Now I haven't received the invoice for this year, so we'll see what they what they get. But they did commit to a fixed figure okay. to retain our business. So we're going to budget to higher number. Yes. <clears throat> and it just stays in line with yeah. what we did last okay. time. Good. Okay, so those are the treasurer's inputs. Um, again, I did say I, I was going to break out the budget officer, and I just put $100 in for uh, printing, copying, uh, binding, anything that might come up. Um, 
last year, uh, in 2013-14, uh, $65 out of that 100 was spent. So I don't anticipate having very much in, in costs for that. Um, purchasing, uh, there was a $500 budget for the purchasing department, and I'll tell you what the spend was on that. Um, none. There were no, no, uh, there was, so far this year there's been no um, spending for uh, purchasing for the old four. Um, I don't think we should zero it out, though. You want to lower it? Yeah. Okay. What would you like to put it at? Uh, two fifty. Two fifty something. Everybody good with two fifty? Yeah. 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 If we don't, it just stays. Yeah. Okay. Either way. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Assessors, nothing there. Obviously, town yeah, function. Um, the uh, clerk, uh, TV man, uh, is here at twelve hundred dollars. That's a, a, a lowering of three hundred from last year. Uh, for the equipment line, there is detail in the uh, folder. The equipment line request is 4,300. That's 300 higher than um, than last year. And the uh, contractual line is 32,300. Um, the original uh, last year was 2,300. Um, obviously, Gina doesn't have much of a voice, but if you have any questions, yeah. I'm sure she might be able to help. Uh, it's the tech support that caused the big increase? Yeah, because we um, replaced computers here and in the police department, the tech support for that, um, they ran into more wiring issues and, and it took them longer, it took more of that, and that increased. It shouldn't be that bad this year because everything's new. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of um, part of it. And the other part of that I had increased. Um, typically before the treasurer and clerk were kind of um, on the same, like half and half. And we kind of split it out more that I took on more on this office side of that. And that would increase some of the things. And the amount of um, office supplies and all that was more charged to this office direct. It's kind of a truer number of what's being charged out of here. Um, what I was asking Ed, and I think you'll ask the board, with that tech support to take it out of me, since that actually covers both sides of the building, that it could come out of the buildings and add the amount of um, tech support into the buildings code, and whether the police use them or the village hall side uses them, it's going to be coded out of the building instead of just the clerk and give a truer number of what he's cost in the building, um, not just my office. Um, that right now it's in that number, so it's just a, something to think about. It. It's more it's more activity basing it to the right now it's coming out of the clerk, which really isn't a true only clerk function. It's the whole village administration that benefits from that tech support. Well, should we have a separate? Uh, function or you know a new you mean an line IT line? Yeah. Uh, you know we could we could certainly the code the code's available. We could put an IT line code in. That'd probably be better than, yeah. than have it in buildings, right? Wouldn't it? Then you get a truer picture probably of I mean, what IT why, is. That's why we're doing things. it anyway, right? I yeah, mean because, we're trying to get a more accurate uh, right. um, Ed just talked about I think he's got five hundred in there for first first clip. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, 500 and 4,500. Yeah. 4,500 is the well, KVS license, but that also could go right. into an IT line. Right. Uh, the software yeah, support is more for the KBS. programs that are used here for um, taxes, water sewer issues, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why it gets charged both to um, clerk and treasurer and water sewer gets a little portion of that because of the water and sewer billings. But that too is a tech um, area, as is the, the way... In uh, clerk's line right now, too, is the web administration, a little bit that we pay for that, and the, like the alert system for the um, police department is in that uh, web administration amount, and that's in my code right now. It's about $1,200, $1,300 a year, but it could be put into that IT line again and kind of give you a better idea of what IT is costing us. That'd be a good idea. Where does the conference of mayor down. fee come out of? Is that out of your budget? First budget? No, that's no. under the no, trustee <coughs> control. Yeah, NICOM. NICOM's coming out of um, the dues. 
yeah, you pay the side. dues line, but right. if you yeah. were to go to NICOM on training, that's kind no, of... No, training, that would, that would, that would be in the that 2500 Right, but, but just the fee for NICOM itself. Yeah, the 20, it's 2300 It's uh, coming out of dues. That's okay. a separate line of dues. Yeah. Okay. But we could, we, uh, the IT line is uh, 1680 We could put 1680.04 and put all of our IT expenses in that line, and then you'll have it as... Uh, uh, information technology, or um, they, they, this village code, or the state code has a more specific name to it um, for information technology. Let me see. Technical support could be used as a. Mm -hmm. There you go. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. That sounds good. Good idea, Troy. Okay. Okay, technical support, and we'll add that as a, a, a line. So then in that line, we're going to have to put. Um, Approximately twelve thousand dollars for KVS. Well, if you're going to put all of the software support into that too, that alone is about twelve thousand. Twelve, okay, and, and then the more. Um, so we're looking at twelve thousand there, and uh, we have the uh, Firth Cliff costs. Right now, um, are probably looking at about six thousand dollars for, for Firth Cliff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six thousand for Firth Cliff. And then probably another, say, 1500 for the web administration. For web, okay. All right, so we're looking at 19.5. And what that would do is the treasurer line would drop 5000 out of my line for KBS and Firthcliff support. Um, at a Gina's line, it would drop about 5000 also, approximately. Um, out of the clerk's contractual. Out of the clerk's contractual. Yeah. Minus five. Uh, and, um, and then water and sewer uh, it would drop out of their lines, but they would have to pay uh, for it via a inner fund admin support cost. Yeah, then you may want to increase that, which you... That line. You had 13 in that one. Yeah. You might want to increase that a little bit. Um, so we could, uh, so that they pay their share of the okay. admin support okay. mm -hmm. and, the, and the computer technical support, because again, remember, the technical stuff is used for bills, right. it's used for prep. They, they use it more here than they would do at those particular Correct, companies. because they mm -hmm. would, if we, don't, if we don't pass on some of the costing to them, they'll be getting free service. And that, and the yes, reality and is... with sewer and water. And what about the cap? Yeah, if it's, if it's, if it's here... It help if you, if they have to pay some of your tech support costs. Right. It helps yeah. you with right. more room in the A fund. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. So, so an interagency transfer. So so then so then the, really the board you guys have to determine what how much percentage you want to give to those two funds for, for tech um, versus the A fund because right now the A fund you have uh, village administration and all the other administration and the police department all tied into the A fund and then you've got the water fund and the sewer fund which get their piece so maybe it's 50, 25, 25 you just have to tell me yeah. how you want it broken yeah. out and then they'll be charged accordingly. That sounds reasonable, 50, yeah. 25, 25. How, what's the total line in the, uh, the technical so, support going So the line, technical support looks like uh, 19, 5. On the on the it'll be sixteen eighty dot zero four will be the code. So what do you want to give half of the clerk at twenty five each? Is that what you're recommending? Well, it would go half to this line and uh, oh, fifty percent okay. to this line, uh, and then the to other twenty five percent for each of these will come out of a transfer that will go from the sewer and water department inner fund transfer. Right from their department to the A fund to pay for that service. Okay, right. okay. because if you look, if you go to the water uh, and sewer fund lines, if you look at 9901.09, um, uh, which is the page two of the sewer um, expenditures, you'll see total interfund transfers, administrative, it's at 13,000. See where it says thirteen thousand. No, I don't. Are you on? Which one? See where you are. Uh, is that the sewer line? Uh, no, that's uh, a fund. Go to sewer fund. Mm -hmm. Not sure. I mean, I'm sure. Seventy nine. Seventy nine. 
Right yeah. after the sewer Inter page there, um, go to the last one. 9901.09. See where it says 13,000? Okay, that would be um, adjusted up accordingly. Based on this, we would adjust each one of those up by 5,000. Okay. So they would be uh, contributing um, 18,000 in those lines as a transfer. So water and, fuel, water and sewer will go up to 18, and then um, and then the 1680.04 uh, will be at 19.5. Uh, clerk will go down. Contractor will go down five, and treasurer treasurer. Um, Contractual, regular contractual will go down four thousand five hundred, and audits will go down five hundred dollars. I believe that's how I broke it out. So five out of treasurer, five out of clerk, five out of water, five out of sewer, and that pays for the nineteen five. You know, it's five hundred different, but they'll pay for the nineteen five for your technical support line. Okay. I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, so that's clerk. So now we go to attorney. Um, last year you had thirty-three thousand allocated for attorney, but that was really just straight for village attorney. When you add in um, the um, council for uh, Goldberger and so on for personnel matters, um, you know, I think that's. Right now, our attorney, I remember saying last time our attorney was at uh, yeah, um, Sergeant Lavelle isn't claiming that his back surgery is oh, 29. 29.5 20, is where we're at for so far for spending for attorney. Right. <coughs> so, depending on how you're going to structure the attorney for next year, if you're going to leave it the same, I recommend you put this around 40. 29.5 is right? for the for the year? So far, that's all spent. Yeah. The, the, the budget was for 33. So there's still three months left. And we're, we're, we're going to be in trouble there. We're going to oh, we're gonna have to spend about probably 5000 more than the budget. Well, we still have that pending yeah. thing at the 207C claim that's going right. to be quite costly, uh, I think. Well, everything involved with the police so far has been costly. Yeah. Which is why the effort to spin it off is uh, <laughs> is this uh, financially feasible? What do you what do you have? Forty one. Um, I I was recommending putting it at forty for right now, depending on you know what you guys decide how you decide to structure it. I I think we I think we should be higher than that. Well, forty for just the village line versus the um, prosecutor. So prosecutor is separate. That's a separate. Uh, Separate line. That's court. That's if you look at there under court, that's the prosecutor. Oh, yeah. I see. You've got parentheses court. So, eighty-five hundred is still okay for the prosecutor. We're looking at all the other stuff. Um, when we get sued. Um, does the village attorney represent us? That's what, that's that's going to be my question. I don't think that he does. Well, I remember, you also have insurance for suits. Uh, yeah. Insurance okay. Covers that. I don't think the art attorney covers that, don't they? Yeah. Isn't that outside of us completely? Our insurance, yeah. Yeah. Normally, yeah. it's an insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I still think this number for um, the 33 for counsel is, is not big enough. I, I really. I yeah, that, that 33 really just covered Bill Florence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, because we're locking in an annual fee, and then we incurred additional costs through Goldberger. Right. And I don't think that's. And that's go away not anytime ending soon. anytime no. soon. That's right. Uh, Do you want to make it forty-five? I think we should raise it at least ten, and uh, mm -hmm. maybe fit. Yeah, it's forty-five or fifty because I, 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 you know, something to be silly was the budget 
40 or 45 when we know it's going to be more than that once let's we're all done. Yeah, let's, let's put 15 if they want to spend it, we don't spend it, but at least we're not... Well, uh, let's put 50 in it for now and see how we end up. With the budget, yeah. yeah. If we have to take a couple thousand out of... Well, we just shed 10 on uh, the IT, right? Uh, well, technically, you just moved well, we the money moved it, but, didn't really get but in terms of the cash, but I mean, as much as you did, but you did pick up twenty thousand in interest expense. <laughs> now, you, you mentioned in front of the audience um, that it was eighteen thousand. Is it? Because you got it. Because you got to take the fees off of it. Uh -huh. The number I gave you, it's 22, but once we take the fees, because you know we do have a little bit higher fees for the service that we're getting, um, you're at net around $18,000, which again, which is 18, zero. Yeah. It's not a tough call. We were just discussing raising the attorney's fees to 50 from 33 because of the fact that um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good we're saving eighteen thousand in, in. Yeah, I wasn't planning on spending that. No, we're not planning on spending it either. But but uh, I think that you know, bills is thirty three, and we're, we've got a two hundred seven C claim coming in. I I have no problem with that, but we have to get more out of bill. We are not getting our money's worth. Well, that's that's no argument there. But as far as the dollar figure goes, I mean, it, let's it, let's do fifty. But we have got to get serious yeah, about. it. I have no problem sitting down with that. We want to discuss that executive session. Yeah, well, we'll yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah, I did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, good times. Thanks. Thanks for the backup. Just keep letting me. Okay, is, is nice. That? I caught you. Well, 50, I that. Yeah, 50 is uh, what we're talking about. Yes. Is that, is that okay with you? Yes, that's fine. No, I, we, we have to because 33 is his, and we have to look at Brian and, and any other, mm -hmm. other issues we may have above and beyond it. I think yeah. that's a very smart yeah. move. Okay. All right, so I put down 50. Uh, Mayor, just, just in a quick review, we uh, are putting a new line called technical support to handle all the IT costs. So you're going to have an IT line now. And what we did is we shed uh, expenses out of the treasurer, out of the clerk, uh, and we're having the water and sewer departments pay for that service, which they weren't paying for completely earlier. I was thinking about that also with uh, breaks and everything. When we're using DPW, uh, did we... DPW gets paid, and DPW gets paid overtime when they come for breaks for the water and sewer. If we're looking yeah. to keep the cap down, real realistically, that cost should come out of water and sewer. Correct. You could you could cost that. You what you would have to do is you would either have to make a inner fund budgetary line, or you would have to do a budget uh, adjustment and basically make a transfer. But it has to be backed up. But okay? that's fine because between funds. It has to be a transfer because of specific documents. So not not budget for it, but just budget transfer when it happens. Well, you could budget for it with the with the fact what that you're you, saying. What number that, do you do you use though? Because um, you got to take as number you got to take experience. We tried. We just we have to give it. You got to take experience. Oh. You got to take past years' experience. And what would happen is Kevin Hurst would need to come up with a number based on the number of breaks that had to be right. dealt with times the um, payroll. Uh, we do have a um, we do have a fully loaded payroll figure, and there there would be your number. But Kevin would have to d determine that number. I, I suggest that only because that would help us again stay below the cap if we have to lower the DPW a little bit, knowing because we've been talking about this whole time about how more breaks are occurring. That's not on DPW. That's on water and sewer. Yeah. Well, look. The reality is is that the DPW, uh, not DPW, water and sewer have benefited probably more. Yeah than they paid for. Okay, now we don't know if that's a couple thousand or 10,000, but <clears throat> the reality is, is as long as we can back up why this cost is being transferred, it's perfectly legal to do. But it can't just be like, oh, geez, we've got to we got to bump up by uh, A, so let's find a way to charge F. Well, <laughs> that's well, our first thing to remember. <laughs> well, we had that major thing going on. Right. I'm sure that took DPW people. Quite um, a bit. But does it spike in one year and then it bottoms out the next You know what, year? it could, but what you do is, is you set up a transfer amount that would be the average, and if you experience higher than average, then the board has the ability to, during a year, do a board action to make that transfer. Okay? 
And what if we have a year where we're not lending DPW to sewer and water? Does then we, when we do the budget transfer, we just do a smaller amount. Because remember, it's just budgeted. It has to be transferred still. Okay. You're never okay. you're never going to not have DPW with sewer but, and water. But in terms of because there's only <laughs> there's yes. only two water. Well, the cap is DPW. the cap is what the cap is based on is where's the revenue coming from. So the revenue's coming from the taxpayers. That that's a finite number. Mm -hmm. If your budget is higher than that, you can't increase that number. You have to get it from other sources, or you got to lower the budget. Okay. So the cap will have a finite amount of taxation that you can do. But if we budget for DPW time going into, say, sewer... Um, interfund, that will be interfund revenue, which will add to your tax revenue to get to your budget, so your budget equalizes. So you have a line, if you look on your, on your budget here, you have a line... But we don't end up in violation of the cap down the road if we don't make that interfund. Mm -hmm. It just no. Basically, what it becomes, it becomes interfund revenue, and then from the interfund revenue, uh, right? It's a twenty-eight oh one. If you look in two thousand fourteen fifteen, it's twenty-six thousand dollars of revenue, right? Yeah. That twenty-six thousand is thirteen and thirteen from water and sewer that gets transferred to the A fund to pay for the activities that A does for F and G. So we already have it. Oh yeah, you well, have it, but, but you don't. But that is not for DPW. That is for billing, uh, okay. everything related to the water and sewer. That's right. Because last night you had said that with thirteen and thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we definitely need to add. Uh, we need to add uh, DPW in because, uh, and then that helps our, our cap, right? It helps your tax revenue requirements because. If you look, if you're getting uh, uh, twenty-six thousand for interfund revenues, and let's say you can you can quantify that there's another ten thousand for water and sewer that the DPW is having to pay in, then that becomes thirty-six thousand, which means that your property tax goes down ten thousand, and that's how you get the equalization. Right. Now, again, I want to I want to be very clear though; it has to be supportable. Without well, question. Okay. I'm not I'm not looking to to inflate anything. What I'm looking to do is. There, again, over the last two years, this past year in particular, with the overtime, mm -hmm. we're trying to make this budget a lot easier to read, a lot, a lot easier to measure. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, is that this is another step. Yeah. The you got DPW, to... and just so you know, basically this time, DPW is just, they dig. So when there's a break, at this time, the policy is, like let's say we was in a small break, the sewer doesn't do it on their own. They always call DPW in. So DPW is always involved in any breaks. <clears throat> now remember also um, the break that happened um, across the uh, across the way, um, West right. Point Highway. I'm trying to remember, was that in this fiscal year or last fiscal year? Wasn't it last well, was fiscal year? Meaning the one we're in? No, the Four, fourteen. No, was it thirteen? Oh, I the, thought the, it was this year. No, this year. Yeah, this year. Okay, yeah. that, if you can quantify all those expenses, that amount can be gained from the current year by board action. But what does that do to help us because it's already passed? You're in, you're still in that fiscal year. So we transfer funds, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, but wait a second, no, the timeline won't work, though, because our fiscal year, when, when was the, when was the digging still going? Was it done it was in, in the fall? Was, was it, it in no, June? It was, it was, remember, it was there was grass. Uh, was it? I think it was in the beginning. Yeah, it was. If, if, was you, if you can document that that digging happened in June 1st or later, you can recover that money from the other funds. But we have to determine when the work was done. And we have to also determine how many DPW hours were involved in that. How, that's how you would support it. And then the board would make an action of an interfund transfer because of that cost. So what we can do is have Kevin do the entire year I think it was in the beginning. to give us this year's number. And that number can be taken off of this past year. Yeah, you, your board... Your, For all your breaks. Yeah, your board would have to do that. And, and I would... And I would have to consult with Nugent and Hausler. Well, actually, I would. I would consult with Ron Klum because I can't ask Nugent and Hausler just to make sure. Well, because I have to separate. I right, can't, right. I I can't ask our auditors something yeah. that we're this, doing when they're the ones auditing. <laughs> yeah. So what I would do is, is 
I would just I would just make sure that the mechanism that we use stands the right. audit test. Okay. But you could recoup technically if you let's say you expended twenty thousand dollars in in expenses for that big project between the setup and the liaison and coordination, that would be you would be able to pull that out of the F fund and put it into the A fund because those hours were A fund hours expended. Exactly. Okay, so um, we, we have three months to, sol to get that done, so we need to take action. Yeah. Who's, who's, who's taking I'll, charge? I'll, I'll talk to him. Okay, all right, so, so that's that. All right, so, um, so back to uh, uh, Mayor, the, the, the attorney uh, was a discussion to put it to 50000 I know that you know, there, there is board discussion as to how you're structuring that, um, but we want to go back to the mayor position. Um, yeah. There was discussion as to your contractual. Um, you've spent uh, a thousand of your twelve fifty. Is that twelve fifty um, work for you for next year? What? Uh, <clears throat> I don't want to take any money away from myself. It's page. Uh, good right. Here. Right. What is that? What do I use that for? <clears throat> you. Uh, I, uh, I'd have to plug it up. I could probably. Look. The thousand that I spent was the thousand we spent for beautification, right? That wasn't a thousand I spent for actual mayor. I don't know. Um, your bring, phone, if you give you me a quick second, a I can go. I'll just look. I have my own phone. I'll look on. Oh, you don't have a village phone. Don't have a village phone. Um, just give me one second. I think we got that back though, right? The old village phone. Because if we're still getting bills for it. <laughs> I, I just know if you had a phone, that's point for your would come out of there. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I opted for no phone. Your events that you've had, um, flag raisings. Um, right, which we want to flags, shift to celebrations. But that's... That's where that's where the money came, right. coming out of there. Um, anything you purchased that you might have needed? For now, I'll leave it at uh, 1250 just for a buffer. You know, your but I, again, and yeah, awards. if we... The one thing I would like to do, and I don't know if we better put it in our mayor or... Uh, Celebrations, and that's uh, things like frames, uh, some more ceremonial stuff, plaques. Uh, plaques. Um, I'd like to get a, uh, you know, we, we had talked at one point about getting a, um, a little, uh, some kind of a thing for visiting dignitaries to present to them from Highland Falls. Uh, I did get, I don't, I don't know what the expenditure was, but I did get those plaques. Uh, one of them. Was done to the keys. Yeah, the key to city plaques. Who did we give one to? We just gave one. Here's your thing. Hudson, 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 Hudson no. Valley signs. Six hundred dollars. Hudson Valley signs. One hundred and seven dollars. News of the Highlands. Staples. Merrill's. Beaver's Hardware. Those were your proclamations. Really? Oh, okay. So yeah, proclamations for News of the Highlands. Uh, the signs, I guess you had some welcome signs for West mm -hmm. Point or O'Neill. Yes. Or oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that's where you're spending money. Actually, I'd like to up it then. <laughs> if that's where it's going to come out of. Where do you want to go? Only because, I don't want to get too crazy, but as I said with ceremonial stuff, we did, we did a couple of signs from the village. We have those. We'll put those up again. But I would like to get <clears throat> ones for either other events or other things that are reusable. I don't want to get things, you know, let's get a thousand balloons that are going to be used once and done. Let's get something that we put in a bin and then next year we pull it out again every year. And after five years, whether it's O'Neill, whether it's Highland Falls, whether it's West Point, we do it right. And we don't halfway it, you know. We don't pull up one sign, hey, hope everyone likes the fact that we recognize you. I, I think you also had to buy flags because they were all gone. Weren't the flags missing or something? Yeah, we got new flags. Okay, but that, so that's, expense, that's right? where you have to figure out uh, celebrations. Do we want them in our celebrations or mayor? Well, it's a mayor. You do that as a mayor. You know, it's a proclamation okay. of the mayor. So celebrations probably would be more toward your different festivals. All right, I'm not going to get crazy, but just so we have the budgetary means, uh, why don't I go 2250 And then we can decide. It's going to be a board decision, not my decision. Depending on how many... Price you plan to give out a year. Well, we're not going to get crazy. This is, and if you give too many, yeah. they become useless. And, and, and it's so, they don't have any value. Right. right. The four, the four that were given out, they weren't plaques. They were recognition. This year, I, and I want to see those four up on the wall. And that is uh, 
Photo Fred, uh, Mr. Palella, um, one other, and then Mr. Brown. No, no, and, oh, no. Sorry. But we need to, it's different. When, when someone has a great, say, four years as mayor, that's nothing. <laughs> you know, that's nothing. But when you're doing 20 plus years, that's got to be something on a wall. That we, the, I talked to a couple people about this. We have to have some kind of standards. When a kid comes up in that room, 18 years old, sits down at a meeting, or we had a couple of Boy Scouts at one meeting, and then they see up on the wall, why is, his, why is this guy's name up on the wall? Let me tell you. Now it's something to shoot for. It's something to go for. I want to be up on the wall. I want to give that kind of service. We don't have that here. We don't have examples of, permanent examples anyway, of that. So those are the things we've got to, and that's why it'll be board approved. It's not going to be me just doing it. But I would like, if you threw another thousand in there, this year I'd like to solidify once and for all our signage and the major stuff we're doing throughout the year. We'll look at the whole calendar, what's happening for our school, our village, and our, uh, and our thing. And not just use our tax dollars. We'll go after other monies too to, to pay for it. Like to me, I wouldn't, I, for sign, for big banners, Pepsi and those, you know, I'd like to, I would like to pursue them. Oh, Pepsi's on the corner, like I care. It's a great looking banner and we put it out there. I don't care if Pepsi's on there, I don't care, you know, if Coke's on there. But, uh, so we, we, we should be pursuing other avenues, but I'd like that so that if, if it, uh, something comes up, and out of nowhere, perfect example, either the ambassador or the gentleman that runs like Czechoslovakia was here last year, and he was visiting West Point, and he came into Highland Falls. Somebody had called me. Now, if we have something set, even if it's just something we can grab, example, but not like I don't want to follow the West Point too much. The coin thing. Mm -hmm. If we had something, a little well, square yeah, thing. You know what I found when I was supervisor? I gave out the Town of Highlands book. You know that old time book. Um, yeah, the yeah. Ronnie do. Coffee. Coffee does where it's the Town of Highlands up there. I think there's one for the village. I think there's. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you take that book and you that's the gift. See, that is so out there. No one's going to give that, and that's really cool. I, when the guy gave him the two books, the, the general gave him the two books uh, oh, they are sitting up on the ledge here. I thought that was the coolest thing on the planet, and, I'm gonna, and I tell that story to a lot of people. But you that's something, those, and again, we don't give them to everybody. They're like $15 each, but they're yeah. very good. And we good. can get them signed by the author. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that, to me, is something where you know we have something for them. To have something ready for a dignitary that shows up we didn't know was coming would be great if we know they're coming. To have money set aside... If, the, if we know we're going to get five minutes with the vice president, because no, well, because of West Point, not because he's coming to see us, but if we know we're going to get that, that we even if we have some kind of a, a something put together for him, that we can give to one of the secret service, please get this to the vice president's from the village, whatever, whatever. Again, that we get out there and we're heard. Is it going to mean anything? Is he going to put in the trunk with the other fifty things he got? Maybe, but he may no. look at it and go, "Holy cow!" Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, we know exactly. So okay. yeah, if I can get 12, uh, well, let's move on. If I can get 22. Okay, 22. I, put that, I put that down. Is that okay? Now, what about the secretary uh, support? Now, you do have uh, a secretarial support person. Do you want to maintain that? I think that we are. We blended that in with uh, the clerks. I, I don't. I don't know if we need to separate that. Well, as we don't a line. actually. To be honest, we don't even have to d decide that today. I okay. just. Uh, we're doing mainly contractual, but it just. It's a. Uh, it's a. Um, it's an item there. That's just right. consider it. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Next is uh, engineer. Okay, engineer. You allocated forty-five thousand dollars last year, and um, this year your spend so far on your engineer expense is thirty-five thousand. So you have ten thousand remaining for engineer. In the A fund, you do have engineer in F and G, but so, so more. A fund, yeah. <coughs> Your engineer, I think, I think we allocated a thousand or three thousand. Two thousand. No, two thousand and five thousand. Two thousand and five thousand. Yeah. I'd like to keep it at least forty-five, because uh, we are looking at. Well, again, Michael, this things. this goes yeah. back to uh, the question about has were any of the engineering services out of this thirty-five used for the water department or the sewer department? Right. Yeah. If they were, they should be charged to those departments. I I believe that was involved something. Some capacity down here, wasn't it? I'm trying to remember. Uh, we can have Al check that out. We can have Al back, back log it, or, or Johnny and, and Kevin. Yeah. <coughs> I, 
talking about the what what the break. The break out. Al was, Al was, Al was down there. Yeah, and he was he was there. Um, he definitely gives a bill. There's no yeah, worries. There's question about that. He did, he did um, <laughs> the whole spec document. Remember the things that the bid documents. Um, weren't they for Oh for the well, repairs that's, the sewer plant? That's yeah. For the DPW? From so much was was it DPW or, or <coughs> I thought it was sewer. He, did, he definitely did water and sewer. Let's let's go let's go back to him and say, without charging us another bill, yeah. we need to know what you did for water and sewer because we need to put it in there because we want to give you more money in your regular account, Al. So why don't you just do this for free this time? Uh, but that's exactly that's exactly what we're looking at. Uh, I mean, the north end, uh, the the south end of Merns has got to be done. There's a, we're looking at a possible project in on Diora that's above the scope of our people. He's got to be involved in that. So I think that we should go at least 45 for next year uh, and, and plan on just being a, more aggressive. Um, the other thing is if he's involved with grants <coughs> that don't involve administrative ends, that's why we want to keep it up there also. Do we have five? Which, which one do we have five in? Is it sewer or is it water? Water. Water. You think that should be reversed, or, or are we looking at expanding the uh, toilet? No, water should have more because sewer is mainly done. Yeah, but what with the drainage project, isn't that? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. We could we could always. I mean, we're gonna have, we have tons of money in sewer. I mean, storm drains and stuff. But, that would uh, be A. Yeah, that's that A. A. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just trying to think as right. we're talking about the. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling it out. But I'm remember, any projects, if you do any bond for them, that would include the engineer's fee. That wouldn't be out of this fee. Right. That would be out of the project. Yeah, this, this fee is your general is engineering services. Right. Okay. Uh, like when you had what happened over in um, on Memorial Park. Okay. Right. Where fortunately, you had the funds to not have to bond it out, but you still had your engineering expense. But again, here's a case where because of the cap, you have to be uh, what what in, in, in accounting they call activity-based costing. You have to cost your activities down to the the, the, the uh, detail where you didn't before, yeah. because the water and sewer department to some degree are getting a free ride on these services that administration is giving to those departments. So it needs to be more scrutinized as to the expense. Well, yeah, we'll have to do that because if we can attribute it to one department, we will. You know? Yeah, and then I those just... bills get paid out of there. You know, it's very important that we do that. Even, quite frankly, some of your audit expense gets charged to those funds. Everything. Everything should be treated like the clerks where they take the 13 out. There's a reason for it because they're spending a lot of time doing the bills and whatnot. So yeah. the same thing with the audit team. The this is going to equal out our, this will help us with our cap and help us reach what we need. And this will also justify, rather than having a lot of excess money in water and sewer, it's actually not there. It's, it's not as much because we are spending it on auditing, on DBW expense, on all these other things. Yeah, yeah. So now it's more justified of why the funds are the way they are and the level of the now. Yeah. So you do have some room there as long as we can document it. Those numbers could be increased. So right now it's 13. If you add all these other things up, maybe it's 20. Yeah. Maybe it's 25. Oh, 32. I'm putting it down 32. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, engineer 45 is what I put down. Okay. Okay, elections. Um, Gina. You should not have one next year. <laughs> yes, according to uh, according the county. To the, right. Yeah, New House did put not. out that they shouldn't be. No, I mean, the village should not have an election next year. Oh, shouldn't, yeah. But even, <laughs> even, even for purposes of the municipal elections for everybody, the county is supposed to be cutting that cost for everybody. Um, all right, so we want to put it as zero. You could, if you're going to have a contingency How much do we have? fund. If, Maybe if someone happened and someone has to resign and yeah. we have to have one, um, you'd have enough to contingency probably to cover to the cover election it. Okay. because it's not. So, so we'll election. just we'll backfill the contingency instead of funding the elections. Sound good? Yeah, uh -huh. and maybe then we can. Okay. All right. So we'll leave it at zero. Okay, um, Village Hall Repair Reserve. Last year you put 5000 in into it. Again, we haven't physically done it yet, but it is in the budget to be done. 
uh, this year, uh, do you want to keep it at five? That five was towards the new furnace. Right. And I was explaining to Ed last night. Um, I don't want to, you know, jinx anything, but this company that did come in this year to help in the beginning of the year get the furnace and everything up and running, they seem to know what they were doing, and we've had a good season. Okay. Everything's running okay, but not to say that furnace is old, and it, you should be looking at it because it was a converted furnace, uh, I guess oil to gas. <coughs> There's obviously more efficient units out there. I got a couple of quotes from this company. Um, you're looking at the high efficiency said at the time was around 42, and it was like 35 or something like that for just a regular. Doesn't mean you have to do it this year, but it's numbers to think about if you want to go and keep building into this reserve right. for that. Um, well, there's that. There's the painting that's got to be done soon. Well, yeah, that's yeah, got to that be done too. soon. Yeah, just trying to think of how. When, when did we do the last? Ten years ago. The yeah, painting. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. about it. There's yeah. that, and then we have to we have to either start looking for money or start thinking about the fact that we don't use these the rest of the building. Know, What's the point? There's a lot of space up there. That you know, can we rent it out? Can we rent that? Can we rent the third floor out? I don't know. We we'll have to talk to Ed about that. Is that is, what do you do with the <laughs> space that you want to lease? I mean, is that possible? The condition of the upstairs is so good. Well, I mean, but Todd Adkins said that he would rent it out, and he would as part of his thing, yeah. he would do it. He would actually fix it. Yeah. I, That's what we have to look at. Not the third floor. I know he talked about the area that you just gave Stella Bailey for, but the third floor, if you're talking about that, needs to do some major. Work. Yeah. Right, but for the but for one of those kind of groups, whether it's a construction group or anything, where they have the wherewithal, and we say, well, look, you, you get a year's lease for nothing. There's a lot of people fix the top floor. Do that. And, and and you might then have to think about your ADA. I was thinking at that about time an elevator, right? So the, just saying that yeah, those you, don't, you don't want an elevator. No. Well, unless someone else is going to pay for it. Well, you even then, the, the, the long-term cost you of the alarm systems, and you, need you put the elevator in, fifteen hundred dollars just for inspections every year, yeah. right out of the gate. Well, then the other thing that we need to be thinking about <coughs> as a village and town taxpayer is what we're going to do with the building when we consolidate. Because we don't want to put money into the building, a lot of money in the building, if we're going to try and sell it. Well, I like the idea of somebody else fixing it up because that property becomes more valuable with these things going, regardless of who takes it or what they do. If they're if they're renovating it, there we're giving them a, a free lease for whatever determined time we we feel is adequate for their services. Our property becomes more valuable and becomes more mm -hmm. a better commodity to sell as as time goes by. If in fact we have to dissolve. What we're referring to this building, right? What's that? referring to this building. So where will we move to? No, uh, well, we, we would be dissolved and it would be one if, if we dissolved, if we didn't use this building, we're looking between two, possibly two and four hundred thousand dollars, the majority of that I would imagine would go to the building. We're looking at either this building, the town hall, or a third option as far as buildings where we go when we fully dissolve. Yeah. To me, one or the other. Yeah. Well, three, one of three spots. Because what could happen is uh, it could be done like similar to a lot of other towns where they have their town hall, but then they have your police department and courts over here. You have a municipal center, kind of like what the banks have. The HSBC and Pentagon are somewhat ideal municipal buildings. When HSBC was changed, that there was thought that that might be for sale. They were actually going to give that. And that's an idea. that would be an ideal municipal building because you're going to have your courts upstairs and all of your stuff downstairs. Pentagon, I'm understanding, maybe. That's on the, on the market soon, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what you do is is that you take these two buildings and you they become retail slash apartments, and that becomes a municipal center. But again, this is pie in the sky. Yeah. But that's, that's, right. that's how but you would. Before we, the only reason I'm bringing it up is that I don't want to. I don't want to put money into something that we may be getting rid well, of. Let's entertain. But let's, I think that's yeah. Let's find out if we can do that. If you can get a grant, right? That's the way to go. Because right now, up to the third floor, you know, you got issues. Yeah. These will work. Yeah. These will spin polish. I've never seen the third floor. It's, 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 I would uh, <laughs> one day go up there and you'll be like, uh, I know why there's nobody on the third floor. I, I don't know if it's possible, but if we have to, if we have to stay to one building, I I wouldn't mind actually adding on to the back of the town hall. Because you have that full parking lot there, and uh, 
you know, the town hall's not well laid out. This is this building's better laid out than town hall. Yeah. But at least the town hall does have an ele elevator. Well, yeah, that's that's a. It, be it does, but I, anybody I talk to, if you can avoid owning an elevator, you're a smart person. Yeah. Because the extra expenses related to elevators, it's not. It's kind of like when you buy a printer. The cost of the printer isn't your problem. Yeah, it's it's yeah, the cost of the, the of the ink and the cartridges. Yeah. That's where your costs are. So elevator, you know, because I remember the library was talking about putting an elevator in, and I and I talked to a couple of people at the library. I said, "You guys are out of your mind. You know, you have a ramp in the back. You're EDA compliant. You don't need to have yeah. an elevator here. Why? Well, so you have extra costs, and now your budget's going to be eaten up every year by fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars. So elevators, if you can avoid them, I recommend you avoid them." They're not. They're 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 not a bargain. Well, how could you possibly avoid one here when you have meeting upstairs? upstairs? Well, it, it, it's it's. I'm I'm saying that you have to try well, to set it so you have the meeting on the first floor. Well, that's why long term utilizing the town building at least it already exists. It's already yeah. It's already right. built in. They're built in, but it's it's layout isn't the greatest. Well, well, that's the other thing before we before we miss it, and I don't want to derail this, the budget too much. But that's one of our biggest in the town and the village is missed opportunities. Okay? It's a, it's we know Pentagon's going up. Yeah. We need to talk to them ahead of time. We need to talk to all these places and let them know that we're at least interested. Yeah. Um, someone abroad has suggested that the be the old BMW place, but they still want like six hundred thousand dollars for it. For for the like the, <coughs> the courts and, and police. No, it's three forty. Is it? Still, that's a tough spot, though. Yeah, it's a, it's not. A, it's just, believe me, the land's probably the only thing that's and worth anything there. You don't yeah. want to take to put a house on. off of Main Street. <laughs> you, you really um, don't. Want, that's a lot. You want spot. people yeah, coming to Main Street? Well, <coughs> oh, not for court. <laughs> well, <neither laughs> court but it's <laughs> the HSBC is there an elevator in that building? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Thank I don't you. think so. No, no, no. I don't think so. But it's actually, actually it's layout. Its layout is typical yeah. municipal yeah. building layout. It's a good spot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's center town. Well, they had offered the majority of the building to the town at one point for like a dollar, mm -hmm. because they wanted to give us the building, because they didn't want the they didn't want the expense of it. They were getting out of the building built business. They wanted to just occupy a small piece. Well, of that's the that's before yeah. First Niagara bought HSBC, right. right. and then everything. HSBC changed. wanted to do that, but not yeah. First Niagara. Then everything changed. Um, Okay, so back to budget. Um, so reserve fund five thousand. Yeah. Okay. Again, a lot a lot of these things are going to be subject to where our cap ends up. So uh, I'd like to I'd like to go ten and then cut it to five if we have to, only because we're looking at a thirty five dollar. We're in good shape now, but if it goes, I'd like to be closer than further away from the boiler. But at the same time, we have to paint the building. Those are two things we have to do. But we. We put five thousand in. Right, last so we'll be at ten. So it'll be ten. Right, with and if five. we did ten this year, it'll be at fifteen. If if I'd like to go ten, if we have the room. Mm -hmm. If we don't, then let's put this on one of the first chopping blocks. Go okay. down to five. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, unallocated insurance uh, was one hundred and forty-two thousand um, last year. Uh, we do have contributions. Let me just make sure something. We do have uh, the ability to get contributions from water and sewer for the insurance. Um, I'm expecting it to be 150 with the with the claims. Can we get the the 25 the extra 25,000 out of water and sewer? Is that the uh, we would have to uh, allocate based on uh, some type of uh, determination, Usage. whether it's number of personnel yeah. or liability. Probably the easiest way to do it would be to break out the insurance costs on um, a similar fashion, 50, 25, 25, because you're insuring those plants, not just the people. Right. Okay, you're insuring the infrastructure. Right, you're so the water and sewer is actually a lot more than the They have, they have, they have yeah. large infrastructure. So if you take all their infrastructure and the rest of the village's infrastructure, it's probably half and half. Yeah. So there could be a, uh, a charge for insurance set back to F and G funds. Good. But how do we come up with that number, though? I, if I, would, I would recommend considering 50, 25, 25. 50, Done. 25, 25. 
I think so it's 75, but again, I, I feel it's supportable, but you know, 25, 25 to each of the plants, right? 50 to the, the yeah, direction. so you're looking at uh, 35, 35 <coughs> for each, and then the remainder for what's, the village. What's, as far as the water and sewer plant, it, it's worth a whole, that's our two most valuable buildings. Mm -hmm. that? Right yeah, but remember, you're also insuring liability of officers. You're insuring um, liability of all your streets. Right. Okay. You're right. insuring right. liability right. of uh, legal <coughs> issues that you might have to have defended. Um, you're insuring equipment. Right. The you know, loader is assigned to the uh, DPW. Your well, most of your trucks are DPW. That's all a fund. So when you really break it down, it's probably 50-50 when you add everything together. Right. right. You know, so it'd be fair to allocate those expenses, okay? <clears throat> so I'll just, I'll, I'll work on an allocation, 50, 25, 25. Okay, uh, we're, gonna raise, we're gonna have to raise the water and sewer waste by the end of the day. No, I don't think so, but, but it's, you're, you are doing what I know, I know, you should do. Know. But you're being, you know, you're almost being forced to do it now because the cap is putting the pressure on it, and that's what's happening. So, all right, uh, Muni dues. That's where you, uh, Bob. That's where your question was about uh, Nikon. That's your, that's your, that's your, that's your amount there. Judgment and claims. I put up to twenty-five thousand. Right now, your judgment and claims costs are um, twenty-six thousand so far. So we had a. Uh, we had an adjustment of $5,959 because of a certiorari. So you're at almost 26000 spent so far. I expect a similar experience next year. Probably a little lower, but it's going to be there. And that's a cyclical thing, you think, Ed? Uh, yeah, right now it seems to me that uh, the housing market's kind of stabilized, so I don't expect many more. Not till. <coughs> Not until they start to get hammered again, yeah. years out or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So 25 is conservative because right now we've been chasing that account every year now. They, we've been having to plus that account up because it's underfunded. Remember, two years ago, I, I don't think there was 10 cents in that account. There wasn't. Judgment and claims two years ago had no money in it. You guys ended up having a good budget adjustment to at least get $2,800 paid on that. Okay. So, um, so if you're good, I was going to. Twenty-five thousand for judgment and claims. That's fine. Right. Okay. MTA tax pretty much baked in the cake. Um, zero that. Unconstitutional. Yeah. It really is. We zero it out. We don't pay it. It's double taxation. But if we didn't pay it, what would happen? Um, Putnam County have a suit. tried to do that, and it was going to cost so much more. And it, it ended up going to um, court of appeals. And Long Island was involved in it too, and they, they, yeah. it was um, one judge did did give it credence, and then it went to an appeals court, and it was struck down. You know, the uh, the, the appeal was uh, was was struck down, so they uh, ended up so saying that it was acceptable. I got bill like two. But they made um, the the courts yeah. made the statement that it was. <clears throat> statewide significance and therefore the cost could be spread out through the region. Mm -hmm. The fact that they said it's statewide, um, now that MTA is again running into some major problems. I mean, big time. Every um, year. Big either time. they put the tolls on the East River bridges or they they share this tax statewide. But the fact that they're taxing local governments it is double taxation. I yeah, don't well, they're also why. they're also your sales tax. The actual sales tax for the county is seven and seven eighths, I believe. The difference that uh, quarter point is because of MTA tax. So your state tax is four. Oh. Your county is three and seven eighths, and it puts you over eight because of MTA tax. We pay over 10 different fees and taxes to support MTA. Yeah, yeah. Look at your telephone and utility bills. <coughs> that's they, right. They've mm -hmm. got their hands out that's there right. too. That's right. So, um, and the reason, the reason um, why, like if you, um, Sullivan County doesn't pay it, Ulster County doesn't pay it, 
Why? Because there's a rail train that goes rail line. Well, less than 1% of Orange County's uses population it. Yeah. uses it, but yeah. we get to pay the And same then rate. you get a chance of going off the track. <laughs> How many, what, we've had three train incidents in the last year and a half. One, oh, of, yeah. one of my tenants was killed, one of my former tenants was killed in the fight the and my sound. current tenant was badly injured. Trying to rescue people. Yeah, I went to school with Jimmy. Jimmy was. Yeah. Uh, they had another debris I made in California there. Yeah, there a truck drove on the track. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, but now when you if you're on a train you go around Spite and Dival, you go like slow, ten miles slow. an hour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's pretty slow. It wouldn't bother me if they didn't waste the money. Yeah. I don't know. They I, they're not good at managing that. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is that they can't seem to put a budget together the last more than a year and, oh. and be decimated the following. I don't I don't know what it is they do, uh, but they, it always seems like there's a hole in the the bottom of the bucket. There is, and, and it's going right in these here. upper people's pockets. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. They raise the tolls on all the bridges. They do all these wonderful things. It's shared on. Except not the East River bridges, but now that Sheldon Silver is no longer the speaker, maybe that's an option. Yeah. Okay, so I increased contingency um, from 58 to 100. Now, again, this is provided we're under the cap, but right. you know, you guys have needed your contingency this year. I agree. Uh, again, a lot of it's out, not the fault of this board, it's what you inherited with the old, you know, payroll stuff and knocking buildings down that should have been knocked down a while ago, so you got to deal with that. Right. Um, <clears throat> Police Department member skipping, that's on Wednesday next week. Um, reserve funds, we'll talk about Wednesday next week, that's Police Department. Traffic Control, Police Department. Um, you went right over Bingo Inspection. Bingo Inspection, there's... We're not going to find that? i, I got to find out when I can drop it. I'd like to be able to just drop it off the, the um, Why do we have the budget. There? You have to have it for, I believe it's for five years, but okay. I don't know you don't how know long it's bring been back. on there. I don't know how long it's been on there. Are we so. talking bingo? Bingo. Yeah. If, yeah. Now we have a senior center. Yeah, can you we? might be bringing it back. You don't know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. No, I, I think that this bingo inspection was a position to inspect bingo um, operations from churches and things like that. Right. I think it was a kind of, it was a compliance thing. Yeah. So the was, senior center cannot. Yeah. Run no, this isn't bingo. funding a bingo program. Darn. No, I know that. <laughs> I'm saying I know we the were bingo inspectors. <laughs> no, no, we're going to do that anyway. But what I'm saying, you know, I know what the bingo inspector is. It's, it's the person that when we had three different bingos, they were making sure that it was done correctly. Yeah, compliance. <clears throat> but I mean, I I don't know if we need to drop it off because, you know, I know that we don't do bingo now. But what is it going to do to put it back on? If they start doing bingo, again. nothing. You just add the code. Right. We just added the IT code today. No, I, I expect the seniors to do bingo. Let's get it going. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, well. <laughs> so everything else on here uh, is on this page. We just move on because that's Wednesday. We're doing a police that fire. Okay. Yes. Fire is Monday. Uh, police is Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Now, fire, if fire doesn't go real long, then what I'd like to talk a little bit about on Monday is salary discussion, because that is going to be a board discussion as far as right now you guys settled contracts, but now they're out of contract. So technically you could do zero or any percentage, because you really are, you don't have a contract, so you could offer zero, or you could offer 1%, or you could put... 2% and put it in in, a, in the, the contingency or in a reserve fund because if the contract isn't settled so that you have some money put away for when it does settle so you don't run into the same situation that you ran into when you settled this contract and sucked up $120,000 in back wages. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about the strategies. I think the tax cap will probably play a role I in that. I think 2% is the way to go with that mm -hmm. as far as money to put away. On put away. Contractual for, yeah. 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 So... That uh, we'll, I'd like to enter into that discussion after the fire department on Monday. Okay. Now we're meeting at 6:30 on Monday to talk fire, and then the 6:30 meeting day is that is that our yeah. meeting? Oh, okay. next, next, what, next Monday is Monday is a meeting. <coughs> yeah. Six so we want to. Are we, are we going to be finished in a half now? No. <laughs> uh, I I don't I don't I don't control that. <laughs> um, do we want to do the fire first? We do. Okay. 
Um, so we do 6.30 and then try to, what if we don't wrap it if up? It, if then it runs in, it runs in a little bit. So we start at 7.15. Yeah, we start. The, it's not like we're turning away 50 people at the meeting. Yeah. Jimmy and, Ramos will be there and maybe two other people. And the salary oh. discussion part of it is going to be executive session because of the nature of the topic. Oh um, so <laughs> might be a long meeting, Mr. Brown. But you're wrapping it up soon, so this is like uh, your um, honeymoon, right? Or your uh, swan song, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> I said we cut half the budget for Mr. Brown. 10% tax reduction. Oh, right. well, the Brown tax reduction. <laughs> All right, um, let's see what else we got to um, uh, Street administration, we did um, street maintenance, we did snow removal, we did sidewalks, we did. What do we got for lighting? Is that going to be enough? Uh, I got to look at the bills. I'll tell you right now, lighting is um, should be a little bit better because power prices did come down a little, but I'm not sure it's caught up yet. Let me see where we are. We have the better lights in there, same as money or no? Uh, they have real mercury vapor, or metal halide, whatever they are. They, uh, the snowflakes. Right now we're LEDs. at seventy thousand, yeah. yeah. seventy to thousand eighty-two percent. So we're a little bit over uh, budget, but not much. Okay. So I, I think budget numbers good. I don't think they're going to change it because they're all estimated reads. They, they all your estimated lighting. reads. Yeah. So none of that's metered. So are we getting screwed? I don't think you're getting screwed, but there's there's no way of metering it. So basically, they just say uh, 400 watt metal halide fixture, 56 poles, eight hours a day. Here's your price, and that's how they do that. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're not using LEDs that I that I've seen. Yeah, they're all yeah. HIDs. Yeah, they're putting you know they are putting LEDs out. There are a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, like Central Hudson has a plan 70-30 plan to put LED lighting out. I haven't seen any street lighting LEDs yet. Yeah. Um, on houses and buildings and parking lots, <coughs> I've seen it pop up, but not on poles. Yeah, not on, not yeah. On holes. yeah, that's, uh, unless it's new installations. Right. Yeah. Right, but, but the street lights, you know, they're, they're going to be using those because they got them and they're paid for and they're... Yeah, it's um, going gonna, gonna to take a while for that to catch up. Yeah, when they, when they start to abandon ship on the HIDs and the, you know, it's going to be a while. Yeah. Start going bad and is there going to be a lot of savings on the LEDs? Oh yeah, it's about a tenth of what the other ones consume. You know, maybe an eighth, somewhere around there of what the total wattage. Yeah, it's a, it's a, just, just going to be significant. Uh, the hours are significant. Just you know, I got to. Uh, 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 are you guys okay? I talked to the funeral home last week. Um, they would like a light going out in between the Mexican restaurant and the doctor's office. And a crosswalk. Uh, there were several night state uh, uh, club of clouds events. Are and you it's talking about like a stoplight or a light? No, no, a light. Oh. A, a light, light, so that it's because it's very, very dark coming across the street. I mean, where is this? There's a light over there somewhere. By There's Walmart. one that goes on to <clears throat> the one that goes on to the Mexican restaurant. One goes over here. But if you're looking where a lot of people park in the doctor's office, right? Come across. If you're looking at that section, yeah, but very that's dark. A, that's a state highway. You gotta get that's a long right. process. Well, I'm, I'm bringing it up because it's, it's it is a long process, but I think Start that now. Well, I'd like to know your if you are one of you move forward on it. Where's the pole? Uh, There's two the, poles. Is there a pole in our side? There's of the one street? right in front of it, and it doesn't. It, I don't know. There's one right where the light should be, if you can. And, and to get an idea of which side it's. That and uh, I said if, if the DOT is any trouble, just you know, two three in the morning. Have to go paint. out there with our crew and <laughs> paint it up real quick. That old boy. But uh, they they they've asked me several times when I was there. It's a it's a very valid place. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, especially we've had several in the last week or so. so. Okay, so eighty five. Believe that. Believe eighty five. Based on what we're running so far. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next is beautification. There we go. Um. We didn't budget anything for beautification. Do we uh, want to budget something for beautification? I believe the mayor's interested in that. <laughs> I've got a number written down here. I thought yeah, 5,400. 5, yeah. Yes, we didn't talk about Oh, that was adjusted. That's the adjusted budget, yes. 
Yeah. Just remember, we gotta, I don't know where we came with up with that number, but that's. I problem. have no idea, but I like it. Okay, I'm for it. As, I, as I said, I wasn't even about to ask for that much, but I, somebody else. That's right. Them. I think you patted me on the back for that. I, I love you. I don't know I where I got that number from. Now remember, you you have about four thousand remaining, so I would recommend. Remaining I think that's what? a high number. Uh, In the current budget. Yeah. For beautification. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't think we budgeted any for it. You didn't. You had an adjusted budget. I, I, I'd have to the track this. From, um, the revenue from the clothing boxes and Eisenhower. Eisenhower oh, I thought we were going to put that back into the budgets we took it out of. Didn't we? We took it out of other budgets, right? We took like a thousand out of mine. I thought we were going to put it back in there. That's fine. I like that even better. No, I think I think what happened was originally it was going to come out of your budget, but your budget was underfunded, so it came out of beautification. It was beautification anyway, but yeah. that's how it worked out. I didn't realize there was any money in beautification. I like it. Well, well no, like you've never that. budgeted for it. This was an yeah. adjustment that was put in there. If I knew there was that much in there, I wouldn't have put all that other money there. All right. But so yeah, the spring coming up, which yeah. might hit that. Right. I want to. Yeah, I would like to keep it at fifty-four for now. Okay. Okay. Again, okay. let's. This is a new thing for us. Is actually. And again, this is a this is a fund we don't want to spend. We want to work with Vision. We want to work with the town and see what they're going to do to help us with Memorial Park. Memorial Park is the town's park. We paid to beautify it. We paid to mow it, and that's two thirds theirs. So we're gonna that's that's got to be mine. And who wants to champion that with me to go down there at a meeting in a nice way, not an anti antagonistic way, but <laughs> just. Because that's who you are, and I love you. Uh, and I would like to start with the parks, and bringing it up, and to, for them to include that in their next budget, to take the parks and clarify that they're taking um, the historian. Uh, well, we were really talking. We talked about historian. We sent, we sent Stella back down there to discuss. Uh, Stella, Stella, yeah, Stella left with uh, eight hundred dollars in her salary and a thousand in her. Uh, from us? Yes. Yes. We're giving her eight hundred because the so different because of the split the, because the, our the budget budgets. is June, and the town didn't budget anything yet. Their budget won't be till January. Oh well, don't we? Oh, that. <coughs> so you're yeah, making he was, her no, whole. No. They didn't budget. They, they didn't, didn't budget, budget anything. I'm gonna go down now. Now I am gonna go down and tag this. Oh, now you're gonna be. In? Because that okay. was an agreement Bob and I had for this budget. They didn't budget for it. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. I'll have a conversation with Bob tomorrow. Okay. Um, well, so we were the, we were, our last conversation was uh, they were going to pick up the salary and we were going to pick up the, the, yeah. the contractual. So they didn't give her anything? They just kept it. They, they gave her $37. <coughs> and they, they cut her contractual. And they cut, yeah, but their contractual actually was cut not last year, the year before. Um, Ed, on the revenue side, um, under now, we'll, gifts... I'm sorry, I will check one thing because this is not the adopted as a preliminary, so uh, we got to make sure, but I'm pretty sure not. this didn't change. I'm sorry, go ahead, John. Under gifts and donations, do we reflect the donations um, anticipated by the green boxes and... Yeah, that, that's, that's the revenue line that we were putting all those checks into. Um, I, I, I know that's what we've been putting it in, but do we um, put something in the budget other than $100? We can. We can. Right now you have, uh, you have put in $2,700 into gifts uh, and donations from uh, budget adjustments that were that or, happened this year. Fourteen fifteen. Correct. Twenty seven hundred and um, you're overspent by eight hundred. We've done those green boxes to shore that up, uh, that one up. What's that? We're waiting on some more green box money. Because right now you've spent more than you've your revenue line is uh, twenty seven hundred, but your actual is thirty five oh five. <clears throat> Do we put in last year for the green box money? No. I mean, they weren't putting that in there at all. 
Yeah, on the revenue side, uh, it looks yeah, like no, we no, budgeted no, I, $100. No, let, me, let me just clarify, because I, I, I misspoke on something. On your revenue line, the adjusted budget, okay, was $2,700. Your actual receipts on that revenue line is $3,500. Okay, so you're taking in more money than your actual budget called for, which isn't a bad thing. Technically, we should be adjusting the budget every time. We take in money to that line just to keep it so that it's square. Where, where did that come from? Where did that money come from? Eisenhower. Donations, yeah. Donation See, we boxes. can't always count on that, though. No. That's why. No. no, so you have to, but, you know, here, here's the other thing. You know, you've had banks for years that would make contributions. Where is that stuff going now? You know, is that, you know, 4th of July? Where, you know, where is all that going? So that needs to be lassoed in as to what can be expected. And if there's an expectation that you're going to be getting contributions annually from these different organizations, then you can put that under gifts and donations. Banks would donate to the village? They would donate to the committees. What is July. Correct. Right. But, if I remember right, didn't Time Warner Cable give a bunch of money? They do a $5,000 a year, right? Yeah. But, but that goes to the committee? Time or that to goes to the July Committee. Okay. Yeah, I recall the one came in. I don't know how many more came in. They were supposed to do 5000 a year. So we didn't get one this last year? At the check, but I don't recall that we did. Let's do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That'll be a phone call you make. Okay, so um, they're, they're very good they, at forgetting. But it wasn't it wasn't reflected in our budget because it was to the fourth of right. July. Committee. Yeah, yeah, but it would it would go it should go to the committee. Unless 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 the village decides that they want to have that become gifts and donations to the village. But it's written down for the committee, and we actually we actually had talked about mm -hmm. does that money have to go there? And Time Warner was like, yes, it has to go where we said it was going to go. Okay, so. all right. I mean, that's, that's fine for me because, uh, again, with, with the committee, uh, that's something, for the July committee is another thing, we've got to push to get into recreation because it's just something that's too important and we can't rely on an independent committee of people mm -hmm. to have to set that up every year. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so, um, so that's where you're at with uh, senior, uh, I'm sorry, with beautification. So I put down 5,400 right now. Then all those numbers are going to be zeros because the first two numbers are 2013 uh, uh, 14. The next number is your adopted budget of 15, 14 15, which was zero. It was your, your, um, your adjusted budget, put that up to 5,400. So that number is still going to remain zero based on the uh, columns. All right. Um, Band concert, anything for concert? <clears throat> I'd like to see us go back to that, but I'm not sure if this is the year to get that on. I'd like to see us go back to a concert series. Uh, and that doesn't necessarily have to be funded by the uh, village. <clears throat> but, uh, but again, this is something that, as a community, we need to go to the town. That needs to be on the town, mm -hmm. town activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cookies were eaten. But it has some for can't make much. Can't only make the planning board. Could you hand that to her? Sure. That's what we discussed tonight. <coughs> okay. How's everything good? It's always good. Yeah. Okay. Gold. Hey, Eric. Also, uh, Charlie has the fire truck information. Okay. Uh, on the bond. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know which one it is? Uh, well, it's it's part of the serial bond. Two thousand three. Yeah. We got that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, so whatever that somewhere. whatever truck is going around. Like, <laughs> 2001. It's got to be. So that yeah. would be a 2001. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. I'll, I don't know. How long is that being paid? It's, I think it's a 30 or 40 year bond. No. The schedule. Uh, Charlie's got the schedule. Charlie, was that a 30 or 40 year amortization? Uh, uh, oh, it came from 30. Um, I think it goes out to 20. 2000, 2030. So it's 15 years. Well, wow. it started wow. in 2003. Wow. <laughs> so it's 25 years. Right. 
So there and a standard replacement on a fire apparatus in this village used to be 20 years. So why would you yeah. do that? Much? Well, remember not the that original we're not stretching more than them out right yeah. now. But no, but look at the debt service. Yeah, the, the original, course. the original. Uh, no, because that that 2001, for instance, replaced the 1981. It was they were on that. It's just a bad idea. And most places, no, would, no, no. Most places would go 15 just to be safe. Well, what I, here, here, here's the bottom line. You paid two hundred and forty-five thousand dollars for it, which was a very pay, good rate, and you're going to pay one hundred and seventy-five thousand in interest. No, I understand how that works. <laughs> well, yeah. the goal now is not to ever do this again. We want to pay the truck out. It's not going to work, though. I mean, we'll get there. Uh, right, but do. There's an engine that's 25 years, it's 20 years old right now. Tell, tell now, us you need $100,000. What? Tell us you need $100,000. No, no, no. I mean, the one good thing is, whoever bought it in 95 bought a good rig. I mean, you had to put an engine in it. But I was just under it recently. It's a stainless steel rig. It's nice. good, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's nice. To, you get on the sun, it's 20 years old, and you're like, hey. a stainless? <coughs> I've never seen a stainless frame. Well, because if you bought an aluminum one, you know, the, the body's aluminum, you would see we would be needing a new the, one now, even with low. Yeah, because yeah. they sag and the bottoms fall out. Yeah. That thing's phenomenal. Well, it's, it, uh, you know, good. It's, it's That's Salisbury, good. right south of Syracuse. Yeah, I used to watch them get made. High quality, out of business. <laughs> No, they got bought by a big one, and, and they played the game for a little while, and then they closed it. Cost too much to make them up there. Okay. See you Monday. Okay. <laughs> See you Monday. Or is it? No. Or is it Monday? Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Right for the pluggies. Okay. So, um, so over at band concert, we're going to pass youth programs. Pat, Pat, the youth programs. This was um, thirty-five hundred dollars. Did go to um, Big Brothers? Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there I did go. Go. <laughs> I'd like to put that back to seven. Thank you. I'd like to put that back to seven. No, it doesn't necessarily mean it all goes to Big Brothers Big Sisters, but... Weren't, weren't you guys talking about the center uh -huh. being a recipient? Mm -hmm. ah. All right, so this was your breakout. Out of the 3500 2500 went to Big Brothers Big Sisters, and you have a balance of 1000 I'd like to give that other thousand to the people that were they were expecting to get This year we can do some middle center. I, I, that's just me. You guys, if you want to go to center, go to center. Get this away from me, please, because that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did we only offer them 25? Because we should have offered them the whole 35. I don't know why they don't remember. I thought they, I thought they were getting the whole 35. Maybe they asked. I think we got. Time. I think we got a uh, request, and that's what they were given. I don't recall the genesis behind the decision. <clears throat> no, we never changed the number. It was thirty five. Did they, Gina? Did they give us like a um, invoice? A voucher. So they sent the voucher. That's what they asked for. Then the twenty five again. Send the rest to the center. Yeah, if we've got a thousand left over, because I know they're in desperate straits. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're not for profit, they'd be eligible. Are they not for profit? Mm -hmm. They're established. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So leave it at 35? <clears throat> no, seven. I went back to seven. There's a lot more we can do. Okay, we covered That's up to you guys. Well, that's well let's put a seven if we get start to have right. it comes in with bad news, we got to look at it again. Okay, so um, historian again, 800 what, what was the consensus leaving the contractual celebrations. Did we come up with a number that? Yeah, value? Well, you one. didn't have anything. Right. And you still don't have anything. Now you have beautification celebrations. Typically, are your um, Veterans Day, which is sponsored by the uh, American Legion, Fourth of July, which has its own committee. 
Memorial Day? Flag raisings? Flag raisings were coming under your expense. But you could move it to there. Well, that's what I was, that's what I was considering. You know, bring it more under a, you know, it's a celebration. I, I, I don't want to, that's the thing. I think that we're, we're doing too many of these just, you know, throw up the flag, okay, let's go home. If we're going to do it, if we're coming out in the morning on a Saturday or a Sunday, you know, let's do it right. Let's get, let's get some more festiveness going on in these things. Make sure not just the 12 people that were involved in the actual raising the flag show up. Everybody celebrate whatever the flag raising is. Everyone celebrate, you know, and encourage more people to come down for Memorial Day and, uh, and the veterans and, you know, get, get out there and do more with it. Okay. We're having some excellent events and if the turnout is, is, uh, is not as good, They're, if we pumped it up a little bit, we might be able to get a better turnout. I'd like to see the first year of actually doing any of the celebrations, I'd like to see 1,200 in. And then I will justify it with, with what we do. Okay, 1,200. Then are we taking something No, out? we're not taking anything out. <laughs> Nothing out of the mayor. Did you eat the last cookie? No. The, 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 the. I was going to thank you. Keep it over there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mr. Brown, the last cookie's calling you. Just half a cookie left. Oh, you're going Bob will take it. I will eat it. Come on. <laughs> I can't um, do it. I'm getting shakes. Mayor, you're at uh, you're at twenty two fifty. Correct. Where we yeah. want to keep it at twenty two fifty, even though celebrations are now twelve hundred. Yes, I do. Okay. We're at celebrations. Okay. Twelve hundred, if if the board pleases for celebrations. We do realize when we get to the brass tax of the cap, a lot of this is going to be re looked at. Yeah. Well, okay. That's that's well, what it's about. This is our wish list. Uh, okay. All right. So celebrations twelve hundred. Next, senior citizen center. Um, my only comment on this is, is that I would recommend that um, you went in, went in very heavy last year to get things going. Now you got to see if some of the local support kind of kicks in. You certainly could revisit more support if the numbers are supportive of putting money into this, but I just don't think the budget is going to support this type of activity. Um, Really, donations. Your donations are, excuse me, less than three thousand dollars. When you fund it from the village, the donations become less mm -hmm. important. Well, we have a hundred thousand dollars in grants. Yeah, but that shouldn't be. This, this should be, be no operating expenses. Oh, operating. <coughs> electric, yeah, oil. We're talking about operating uh, expenses. Fran's budget for the two or whatever we gave her. Or, uh, I'm thinking cable. It's fifteen thousand. Uh, seem. Uh, I don't know. Oil, what yeah, oil, electric, cable, cable. 15, 20. Is so it's going to be? Uh, I'd say twenty. Monitoring Max. everything. Yeah. 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 Well, that's that's the next big piece. And I, I talked to I talked to Fran, and we're going to move forward and try it again. It's a lot. A lot of this is about trying to work with the town, which I don't see any getting any leeway with. But uh, we need to separate the two out. We need to separate the building and senior programming. It's two separate things. We're responsible for the building, you're right, because we went for the grant. Until we dissolve, we're responsible. Mm -hmm. We are not responsible for senior programming. No. That's the town. Well, that's they, have, they have a money line, $2,000 for actually the senior center in the money line. And they have more money for senior programming. What we've got to do is go to, go to the town and say, look, you already budgeted yours, whatever. I don't mind putting us in for one thing, but that senior center is on the A line. That means two-thirds of that budget is being paid for by the village. We're already paying for the senior. 